sting forceps in and they just want to push down and take the place of the ventral herc. All right. So all we've done now is place the sting forceps inside the abdominal opening, right? Which is going to keep it open. The ventral herc is now out the way because we've got to just open her up enough so that we can actually see where the sting is and grab hold of it. Um, so it's all about just levering her open bit by bit. Then bring your ventral hook back. And then you just pull oh, the ventral side open. All right, so what we've done with the ventral hook is we brought it in and we pulled open the abdominal opening this time. And that's the sting, that black that, that black bit. That black bit is actually what you can't see because it's on the screen is it's actually curling up towards us. Oh, right, because oh. it looks like it's curving down. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's why you cannot do. I'm not going to say you cannot do because I did manage it the one time I tried and it was bloody hard. But that's why you shouldn't do instrumental insemination on a screen is you can't tell whether no. something's facing up no. or down or where. We then need to grab hold of the sting with the sting hook. What you have to be careful of is because you haven't got anything holding the queen up and you're applying pressures downwards, mm -hmm. if you keep applying a downward pressure, you'll push her further and further into the queen holder. Yep. And if you push her too far, um, where's me? Oh, there it is. The shaft of the ventral hook will get caught on the queen holder. Yes. Right here, mm -hmm. just out of view of the microscope. Yeah. And the hook will get bent upwards yeah. and release the queen. Okay. Right? And then you'll keep pushing it down and down and down. And if you do it too much, you'll bend the hook right up and back um, and damage the hook. So you just got to be aware that we're operating quite close um, to the queen holder, which will limit how far down you can go. So you, the idea is not to push her down to get her open, it's just to try and work nice and gently. Once you've uh, exposed the sting, right, she'll stay open a bit. You just want to open the sting forceps, reach forwards and grab the sting. So you've grabbed it, have you? I've grabbed it now. Now, it's not always nice and simple like that. Sometimes the sting sheaths will be either side, which are two, two parts of flesh okay. lift up and they just surround the sting. Yeah. So the queen sting is unlike that of the worker stings. So it's got a few more st protective structures um, and it's got no barbs. It's not designed for massive combat. It is, it's basically designed um, for smooth operation. Um, so you've got the central part of the sting and then you've got the two... Oh, I can't remember the name. The two bits that slide that was mm. downwards. Mm. But they're all smooth, and they're all enclosed in that sting as a single unit. And then around it are two bits of flesh um, that just close in around and help keep the cl sting clean and safe. Um, sometimes you'll grab hold of those, um, and you'll know because they move quite sort of in a, in a sort of elastic -y manner as opposed to the sting, which is quite rigid. When you've got the sting, you can just lift it up slightly firm you've got hold of it and get the ventral hook out of the way. If you leave the ventral hook there, as you lift the queen into position, the ventral hook's going to catch on her and you're going to rip her open, right? So you don't need it. It's a supportive item to help hold her open. Yeah. You're now going to manoeuvre the queen into position, so the ventral hook wants to be well actually out of the way. way. Right. You then want to lift the queen back slightly and lift her up a little bit. So you're pulling her up. So you're pulling her up sting. a little bit with the sting. All right, drop her back. The aim is to get her back nice and straight. Yeah. All right, she wants to be about level. So this tool wants to be about level all the way along. All right, so you're working on mm. this plane here. Yep. All right, so you just lift her up to do that. Yep. If you push her down too far and you push the holder down too far, what you may find is you've just got to lift that holder up. Yeah. That holder is just to support her abdomen. Yes. The sting hook is to hold her in place. The ventral hook is just to support the ventral side of the abdominal opening. All right. Ooh. So, refocus that. And refocus the camera. So, to make sure you've got her in the right place, you just want to bring that sting back. And tweak. So just pull it back a little bit more. Just, so pull, just it pull it back a little bit more, and little more. her back wants to be nice and straight. Yeah, so you okay. can sort of see yeah. how her back is all lined up nice and straight. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, she looks nice and straight. Yeah. If, if you pull her too far, she'll bend over. If you don't pull her far enough, she'll be bent backwards like that. You've got to make sure it's straight because her genital tract is going to be straightened out. Yeah. And bearing in mind, this is a very straight object that yes. you're trying to get in her. You're going to damage the tortoises. Well, what you, what you always find quite difficult is getting a straight object around a curve. So okay. what you don't want is to have it so that you're trying to bend the tool round yeah. the curve of her genital tract. You want it nice and straight. Else you'll just hit resistance and then there's a temptation to try and force it through and you'll damage her. You then want to bring your ventral hook back into play just to make sure that you open her up so you can see what you're doing. Oh, right. All right, and then you should have opened, uh, oh, there we go, like that. So what we've got is we've got a sting held, she's got a nice straight back, the ventral hook is just supporting her open so that you can see what you're doing. What we're looking at is, Sorry. is, is the structures of her, um, basically her, her genital opening. We've got here the sting, so yeah. these, these bits here make up the sting structure. In behind here is the venom sac. That's all held up out the way here. All right. These bits here are just flesh that helps to support her abdominal opening. All right, so that's why they're stretched. If you watch videos or everything, they always like to say there's a V to look for. Yes. All right. Ignore all of that. There's a V here. Yeah. Right. If you look closely, there's a little V here. And uh, the bit we're aiming for is actually about here. Right? There are hundreds, actually there's probably, there's several V-like structures. Right? It's hard to work out what you're aiming for. So there's an easier way. Her genital opening is at the base of the sting. Right. All right? This here makes a little bit of a, bit of a channel and you can see it a bit better when you look at through the, the uh, microscope. Your tip just wants to follow that channel down Right. There's a little bit of flesh here that will move back this way and this bit of flesh will move up out of the way. Mm. Right. Okay. If you follow the sting down, you'll get your spot every single time. Right. As follow long as she's down. got a straight back and yeah. she's nice and straight and held, you follow the sting and you'll find it. Nice the V that everyone talks about is actually very indiscernible. It's this bit here. Right. This bit of flesh moves down and then this bit closes in, but you can't really see it. No. Um, I mean, you're all there going, yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. No, I can't.